you know, after playing this character for so many years, do people actually think that you make puppets? They do. Yeah. And uh, it's very, very interesting. I was at an opening of the show uh, at a theater production with my wife. <laughs> And a little kid came up to me and said, uh, said to my wife, he said, you must be Mrs. Geppetto. And my wife thought about it and said, yes, I am. I'm Mrs. Uh -huh. Geppetto. You know, but I do love puppets and I did make puppets uh, when I was in school. And stuff. puppetry is sort of an interesting uh, sideline. I'm not very good at it, but I've uh, enjoyed it. Well, how did being a part of this show change your career? Because you've done a lot of things. Well, you know, I think what the show did for me is it provided a kind of balance, if you will. I, I was sort of slightly more associated with uh, maybe some darker stuff, Dexter, some other yeah. sorts of things. And, and this one added a kind of uh, a genuine sweetness that is me. <laughs> no, that is, uh, you know, for the people that know me, this so often we are, we are, uh, um, sort of a cast, feel what we look like, and it only takes sort of a long career that you can really sort of show an essence, and I, I've kept my uh, my gentleness and my sweetness in reserve, and finally I had an outlet in Once Upon a Time. And I would assume it's like a younger generation must be coming up to you, like these kids absolutely, at the theater. Absolutely, and young, and young girls, such a strong show for young women, so... Well, uh, speaking of you know the show being such a strong show for young women, did you have a particular favorite character, especially a favorite female character on the show? On the show, uh, there's, there's a female character. Well, you, you know, you'd have to say it's you have to say Lana in, in, in some ways, just because her arc, yeah, was such and, and sort of redemptive sort of arc, and also she had the best horse. Eduardo Castro is a genius, the best players, and uh, male without question, Robert. Now, uh, speaking of Eduardo's clothes, was it fun to get to play when you got to play in Fairy Tale Land? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah you know, it, and it was so it was so great because you know Eduardo uh, uh, he, he dressed me in a kind of way that really uh, and just filled me, and it just it just made me want to act. It and it made, made me want to match his clothes. It made me want to, so, and that's a gift. And it made you feel like you're in a different place, I'd imagine. Completely, completely. And it's so great because then you have this rather lonely uh, handyman in Storyville, Marco, and then you have this, this other guy who's walking around the Enchanted Forest. Was there anything that you kept from the show, like from the set or anything? My memories. No puppets? All right. Well, um, all these guys want to be kleptomania. <laughs> we all want you to steal your puppet. Yeah. Um, will we see you in the series finale? 